K-I-L-R Killer Games In space, nobody can hear you scream, especially when you're running, 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 running for your life. Yes, everyone, it's another gaming video with yours truly, Killer Gamer and Nerd Gamer 2K. Yes, and we're going to be playing FTL, which stands for Faster Than Light. Friendship to Life. That works. Um, although... The ones that are chasing you don't want anything to do with friendship. Nope. The only thing that they want to do is own. It's going to be outer space ownage. <laughs> or is that pewter? As pewter. Pewter. pewter as in computer. Or pewter. putter. Pewter. Putter. <laughs> no, that would be two T's. Oh, yeah. Pewter space poonage. Hmm. That just seems kind of... I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Run, rebel. Run? Are we running? Are we rebels? That's such a tiny question mark. Uh, anyway, um, actually, it's the rebels that are actually coming after you. You're uh, actually part of a, a federation. So this is a top-down, real-time strategy game that was created by Subset Games in 2012. And this was inspired from tabletop games. Uh, that's board games, in case you weren't wondering. <laughs> Uh, and non-strategic space combat video game. So there's a screenshot of the game right there. Yay. Um, it looks relatively simple. Um, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're kind of looking at like, yeah, I don't know if I want to play that. Well, trust me, when you get into playing this thing, you'll get hooked. You really will. Um, so it's kind of laid out like a, like a board game where you got little squares and stuff where you move your people around. But it's much, much more than that, and, and you'll see that when, you, when we get into the video. But uh, interesting enough is this game was self-funded to start off with. So the, the there's a couple of people that were creating this game. They kind of talked about it over lunch or something like that. Hmm. And they came up with the money themselves to make the game. That's cool. Um, but they didn't have enough money to finish it. So they put a fundraiser on Kickstarter and it got people's interest. And they were able to raise the rest of the money that they needed to bring this game to completion and to get it released and so this is one of the more uh, successful stories of uh, Kickstarter fundraisers because there's quite a few uh, fundraisers out there for Kickstarter that just go absolutely nowhere <laughs> <laughs> this was not one of them this one was actually successful the uh, soundtrack which is really good I love the music from this game is by Ben Prunty and that's a copy of his uh, soundtrack album which you can get from his website I think it's like benprunty.com or something like that just look just do a Google search on Ben Prunty and you'll find them um, and in 2014 the creators of FTL um, basically they did a, a, a nice thank you to all the fans and they did a free update yay and this was called FTL advanced edition this had more ships uh, more events, more gameplay elements, and uh, at more music that was added. So by the same uh, artist. Ben That's Prunty. nice. So yes, very very cool. Uh, very very nice changes that were made to it. I uh, mean, it still retains the classic feel. But um, we're going to be playing the original FTL um, probably for a couple of episodes, and then we'll jump into the advanced edition. So. Yay! Let's get to it. And we'll jump in there faster than light, which is now. Wait, too late, too slow. Oh, anyway. Here we are, everyone. Yay. FTL. The original one. Welcome to FTL. If you're a new player, we'd highly recommend you take a moment to play the tutorial. We don't need to do that. Nah. We've done our best to make it as short and to the point as possible. We hope you like the game. Actually, you know what? That might be a good idea just so we can kind of show people how the game actually works. True. Well, if you hit one, it should continue, but it doesn't. All right, so let's go tutorial. All right, so welcome to FTL. You are the captain of a Federation Starship Enterprise. No, sorry. <laughs> On a very important mission. Actually, you know, there are modders that um, make custom ships and stuff. Like, well, someone did do the Enterprise. Oh, that's so cool. Someone did the uh, the Firefly uh, oh, yeah. Serenity ship. I've seen some 
cool thing. And I just actually saw some like, I want that, I want that. I couldn't find a way to download it. So all I saw was a picture. I'm like, really? Aww. But I'm going to keep looking because, man, they, some people made some really cool ships. All right. So the Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Alright, so this is the, the ship that we start off with. It's the Kestrel. And this is the focus of the typical game view that you will see. This is the ship. These are all your controls, etc, etc. The circular icons at the bottom of the screen, right here, in this area, that is not very circular, um, they are your ship's primary systems, right? So this here is like, uh, these are powers, this is shields, this is energy. You can see it when you hover it over it, it lights up here to kind of show you where the rooms are at. Oxygen, um, med bay, and weapons. Uh, systems use power from the reactor, so this is the reactor here pointed by the red arrow so as you you can see as you need things you power them up so uh, let's continue here these are your ships subsystems right here unlike systems they do not require power from the reactor so you can upgrade these and they give you uh, benefits and stuff like that uh, you don't need power for them which is kind of cool Hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information about the system. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Yep, we just talked about that. <laughs> so, engines, here we go, charges the FTL drive and powers evasion. Uh, Manning increase, increases dodge chance. So, this gives you details if you want to really want to read it. Um, as far as rooms, it's kind of good to know because uh, you'll need to repair them. Likewise, over here, these systems kind of tells you... Uh, um, some helpful things there so all right the whole meter this is the whole meter is a uh, shield level oh wait a minute whole meter this okay oh yeah this is the hull this is the shields and current resources um, this this is what you have current resources these are on the top left if your whole meter is reduced to zero your ship will explode so in other words keep this as full green as you can the lower it goes, the better it gets. Um, shields basically protect you um, before your hull starts taking a damage. You know, it's just your typical space uh, game. Thingy. Thingy. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered. Thus these. White system boxes, well, that aren't filled in. Um, are unpowered and providing no benefit to the Kestrel. So left click on the engine system icon and power will transfer from your reactor into your engine. So right click once. Oops, sorry, left click. Boom. So we got one in there. Um, try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower a system if you want to reroute its power. So if we want to take it out of here, we right click and put it in the weapons you can which we're actually not doing weapons because it won't let us so yeah just put this you did, look at the look at the did you notice how the engines light up there kind of cool oh yeah see that i never noticed that <clears throat> pretty cool stuff it's the little finer details that are in this game that are really cool all right so we have our engines fully powered up fully fully flower my goodness wow must, must be late fully powered up um, all right, so we're going to continue. Oh, uh -oh. no, your engine room took two damage. By nothing. By nothing. Its system icon has become red to show it's broken. Ah. It's broken. Um, your whole meter also has taken two. You can see oh, that there. Oh, no. Your crew cannot repair the ship's hull. Okay, these can't be fixed, but they can fix the engines. Select your crew members using left click. Select multiple crew by left clicking and dragging. Select some crew to continue. All right, well, let's get these two people. So you can uh, drag a box around it. And then with them uh, selected, you just right click. If you left click, you just click on the room. So you want to right click. And they will walk, go through the doors, as you can see. And they will go and fix it. 
So, you can get uh, another two people in there to fix it. That's all good. As you can see, they're doing a pretty bang up job there. And this down here, you can see how close they are to getting it fixed. Boom! It's all fixed now. So, we can take these guys, and I guess we can leave one in there. <clears throat> anyway, crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, hull breaches, and fight intruder intruders. So, yes, there are intruders in their room. Fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. So, here's your hit points for your crew. Awesome! Your engines are now repaired! Notice that the repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves. So, it's already repowered to their last power state. That's what we had. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the system. Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in their room. The silhouette above the power bars shows if the system is manned. Um, yeah, so here it is. So that there's oh. a person there, that means that someone's manned it. Um, you can see here that no one's manning the shield room. You see how you, you, you hold yeah. over it? Now you know where you, where you can take one of your people. Click him and send him over here. So we'll do that. So now we got a man over the shields. As you can see, there's a guy there. So as they gain experience, um, their ability here will, will be better. Um, and you learn that by clicking on this stuff because those, those other meters that you see there will fill up. So we'll kind of go over that as we play. Oh no! A fire has broken out on your starboard airlock. You could send your crew members to put it out, but... Let's take advantage of your airlock. Open one of the airlock doors by left-clicking it. So, click. Uh, click. There we go. Opening doors allows you to drain sections of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. Rooms turn pink. There we go. As the oxygen drains out. So, think pink, red, bad. Your oxygen system will slowly refill your ship once leaks are gone. So, if your people are around and you see this, they're going to suffocate. Now that your engines are fixed and the fires are out, we should FTL jump to the next location. Jumping requires a crew member in the piloting system, which we have right here. And also, by the way, you want to shut these doors. You can do that by clicking this, or there's a little button over or, here that says open all doors or close all doors. I wish I would have known that. You didn't know that? No. Oh, well, now you do. So, boom. So, yeah, so if I go through here and just open all these doors... Right? Because, like, some... You can, you can click this and... Whoosh, I know, show. but, like, one time... Well, isn't it, like, sometimes you can't close the doors because of oxygen or something? Um... Sometimes, or, the, or like, here's the door room right here. This is the door room. Yeah, that's probably why, because it was damaged See? and I had less See how it's lighting oxygen. up because I'm over it? Yeah, so if that's damaged, you can't do anything with the door, so... Keep that in mind, folks. But, yeah, you can open all the doors... Now, that doesn't open the outside ones, just the ones inside. <laughs> so, uh, we'll close those doors again. Um, I've noticed that opening this is really good to help spread the oxygen faster. So, alright, each jump consumes one fuel. So, here's your fuel. We have 16 of them. Without fuel, you will be stranded and unable to jump. Oh no! Click on the jump button to continue. Alright, here we go. This is a beacon map. A ship marks your current location. Right here. We're kind of going around it. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. These are unvisited. Left click on a connecting node to travel over now. Let's go here. And there we go. We disappear and reappear. Here we are. Every new location will have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. That's the pirate ship. That's what it looks like inside. Uh, continue. So you can continue or special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment or um, certain types of races too mm. make a difference there. So these blue ones are always a good choice. So if you see a blue one, you want to click on it. Welcome to combat. You can use space bar or middle mouse to pause the game. I didn't know about the middle mouse. Middle mouse. I usually use the space bar. So yeah. that, that allows you to pause it. Whoa. All right. I so think the paused. P button works too. Yeah, it might. All right. So you need to power your weapon to fight. 
the amount of power required is pictured in the weapon mark uh, weapon box marked below all right so you can see we need one power so left click on the on it to power wrong one there we go click on that um, you can also use hotkeys one through four, which are down here. You see one, that'll be two, three, I four. I never use those. Sometimes I do. It makes it kind of um, easy to do it quickly. The weapon will fire when ready. Make sure the game is unpaused. So you have to do space for a middle mouse, and here we go. See, the gun just popped up. As soon as this fills up, it's going to fire away. There goes our... or no. Oh! We need to target something, apparently. Alright, here we go. Oh no! Your two-shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields! But luckily, he can't get through your shields either. <laughs> so here's his two shields. He's got two parts of it. We got one. Every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. So, like, so here, we got two. Gives you one. So if we got another two, we'd get another one. Ah! That's how that works. So every two of these for each one of these. You've been given a missile launcher now. So now we have a missile. Shooting it expends your missile's reserves, which are here. So we have 20 missiles we can use. Um, but it pierces through all enemy shields. That's always good. Use the missile to damage the enemy shield system, and then your lasers can get through as well. So power that up. Because we got one here, one there, and we got two spaces to use. And we got power. So, click on this, and then Don't do the shield. Yeah, the shield. That's what we want to do, is destroy the shield. And it missed. You'll notice as enemy systems are damaged or destroyed, their icons turn damage or orange, sorry, <laughs> red respectively. Wow. Repeatedly, attacking a destroyed system will do no additional damage to the system, but will still damage the enemy's hull. Reduce their hull to zero, and they will explode. So here's their hull right here. So remember, when you run out, yeah. bad, bad. Um, let's try... Boom! There we go. Let's take out his weapons, too. Well, there's a guy fixing the shields. Boom. Or not. Sit. So all his hulls gone. Whoa. You destroyed the pirate ship. As salvage, you gain some scrap and a weapon. So scrap. We got 100 scrap and a weapon. Uh, continue. I've never gotten a weapon. Oh, I've gotten some. Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there is no more room in their respective system. So you're going to left click on the ship info screen so we can equip your new weapon. So click on this. And this is the new weapon we got. Uh, I'm sorry. This is the new weapon we got. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we have. All right, so this, and you can see, this t gives you explanations on what it is, how much power it requires, how much time it takes to charge, how many shots, etc., etc. Um, for those of you, I'm sure you can probably pretty much figure it out. This is your equipment screen. You can see more detailed information about your weapons, your drones. By the way, these are drones. Or augments. These are augments. Uh, by mousing over them, click and drag your new halberd beam to replace either of your current weapons. Then accept. So we did that. Oh, and this tells you, you know, slow but reliably powerful standard weapon requires three power. It's a lot Oops. of power. Your weapon system, max power Oops. of two, right here, see we have a max power of two, is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon, which needs three. So you can open your ship screen back up and we can fix this. All right. This is the upgrade screen. You can see detailed info about your systems and upgrade them by expending scrap. This is your scrap. This is how much we've been able to collect. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu here, um, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. So remember, the more green bars you have here, the more power you can distribute to your uh, systems. Yay. So you'll see how that becomes important. Um, oh, la, 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 la. Here's your weapons right here, so that's what we're going to get to, right here. Left click on your weapon system to upgrade it. Then click accept to close the upgrade. So you can see over in this section here um, how much scrap it's going to cost um, for that much system power. So it's going to take 25 to upgrade it. 
Um, and yeah, we'll do three, but I'll, I'll show you something here, so that way those of you who haven't played this game yet. All right, now power your new weapon. You might need to power down your other weapon in order to have enough power. All right, so you can see this makes, this takes three, but we don't have three available. We have two available, so you have to right-click this to depower it, and then you can power it back up. So if we wanted to have dual lasers also, then we need to have a fourth one here. That makes sense. Right, and then we can have both of them in there. So while you're in here in, in the ship, you could, could, could do that. Final tip, you can rearrange your weapons in the fire and the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging them. Oh yeah, so you can do this. Right? Notice, oh! Know how it moves there? Yeah. <laughs> See that? So yeah, you can move them around. I've done that before, just to kind of organize them. So you have your lasers and beams and missiles all yeah. together. Yeah, I normally have like stronger towards the right and weak towards the left. Yeah, I've done that too. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. Press continue to quit this tutorial. Yay. All right. So there we go. So let's take a look at, let's see, stats. This uh, tells you your top scores, the type of ships, blah, 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 if you're interested in that. Options. Um, these are useful for your sound, stuff like that. Um, we got a full screen. Yada, yada, yada. Dynamic backgrounds is always good. Um, I'm not colorblind, so... Customize controls. Show beacon paths on hover. This I like. When you hover over over a, uh, a destination, it will show you which ways you can go. I find this very useful. So. What do you I, mean? You'll see. Um, so let's see. Clues. All right. So we're going to go with new game. The Kestrel. Well, I'm going to rename that. We're going to call it. The um, we'll call it the ponage <laughs> or the ownage. I don't know. Hit enter or escape to confirm the name. All right, enter. All right. So now what we can do? This is the only ship we can choose from. Let's see. The other ones have to be unlocked, but these are the different other ships you can get. Um, I know I've unlocked a few before, but I haven't uh, unlocked them all. I still haven't unlocked any. It This tells you how to actually unlock stuff. You have to do certain things, so as you do it, you'll you'll be able to do it. Okay, so um, let's rename our people here. Customize. Let's rename him. I guess that's going to be Killer Gamer. And I can see you can change the looks if you want. I guess that's boy girl. <laughs> Except Felicity. Hey, that's a good one. Let's keep that one. And uh, customize. Let's rename him and call him Bones. <laughs> Just because. Bones. Bones. I'm a doctor, Jim. All right. Um, that's pretty much all we can do, um, because all this other stuff you can't do anything with. Um, but this is our ship. It's in dock. Um, you can hide the rooms here, so you can see the whole ship if you want to. Or open it up. You should just have it open. And that's it. Eventually you can unlock different types of, uh, layouts and stuff like that. Um, then there's easy and there's normal mode. So we're going to go normal for me. We're going to start. Oh, and by the way, this game is, is what's called a rogue game. So when you blow up and you die, that's it. <laughs> you have to yeah. start all over again. Don't like that. It's Well, you know, it's like a board game, actually. You know, there is no save point. That's true. You know, you play until the game is over, and that's how this game is. If you think about it, it's like the old arcade games. Yeah. Those are like Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man, <laughs> you know? You go to you go to a, an arcade and put a quarter in and you play until your game's over, you know. And, and if no one else is waiting, you know, usually they'll put their quarters on the machine. <laughs> yeah, normally. You know, to signify I'm next, buddy. Anyway, we're gonna start. All right, the data you carry, blah blah blah. We've already went over this. Um, right. Okay. So 
open tip open in the game menu by pressing escape so press escape you get this all right so I'll just click continue you can restart or change options from there see as you notice there is a save and quit so you can actually save your game and quit so you but when you there. die you can't right bring it exactly back. when you die that's it you can't go back to a previous save but you can pick up where you left exactly. off. exactly like a board game yeah like a board game exactly you know it's not like you're playing monopoly and you make a bad move and like uh, can we go back to the last <laughs> save point please <laughs> That's yeah. not going to go over very well, so... People would be annoyed if that Very did annoyed. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. So we black. have... Killer Game... Oh, I just got the name Gamer, apparently. I don't know what happened to the killer part. Um, Fel Felicity! Let's put you in the engine room. Put you over there. Bones! I put you in the med bay, but I need someone running the weapons. Put him in med bay. What if someone gets hurt? Then he can go over there. Um, normally we'd be able to see it inside these rooms, but we've got this uh, cloud, uh, nebula. If you all, all remember Star Trek II: The Wrath of Khan, nebulas affect Dangerous. your sensors. Um, so that's what's happening here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and power our weapons up. Get those ready to go. Um, there is an auto fire function. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, we got no drones. We're pretty much all ready to go. Let's go ahead and jump so you can see this is what I was talking about it has it already lit up of where we can go oh, but yeah. when you hover over it shows you connecting routes this is very helpful I think I have that like yeah. that's on mine I think you did that because I didn't do it yeah so this is not normally like that but I changed the option so you've got that these blue things mean uh, that they're in the nebula as you can see here it will make the fleet yeah. It will make the fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt. It will also disrupt your uh, sensors. And you'll see that the uh, rebels are going to be pushing you this direction towards the right. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, let's, let's stay in the nebula. So off we go. FTL drive is up. Ow! We got a red and black thing that we're going to be fighting here, it looks like. A mantis ship hails you through the storm. These are sacred. Er, not gland <laughs> hunting grounds. You are prey. Shields up! Continue. All right, pause. So now, let's plan our tactics here and what we're going to do. All right. He's got one thing of shields. We probably don't need to use our missiles at this point although look at all the weapons he's got I always start with their weapons and their shields we do have a, f a few weapons so let her uh, missiles let's take out his weapon systems there and also that all right so right now it's just a one shot now if I click auto fire it turns it'll keep yellow, doing it and it will every time it charges up it'll shoot so that's good on some cases, but when you're doing things like missiles, sometimes you don't want it to auto-fire. But we'll go ahead and continue here. Hurry now, up! As your people become the experts, these times actually get less. Really? Yep. Cool. All it's right. dead. So we, shot, we got his weapons down. Let's He's got our medical down. You need bones in there. Ah, they can fix it later. No, they can't. Now. Let's take out his shields. What about your captain? He can fix things while you're battling, right? Yeah, but if he's here, then he's gonna be—he's gonna help uh, evade some of the weapons uh, fires and stuff. Oh, really? Maybe that's why I always lose. Shields are down. One hole left. Whoop! There must have been a fire or something on board that ship because <laughs> it just blew up. All right, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. We get three fuel, one drone part, and 17 scrap. So 17 scrap will be up here. We get no 27 will be up there. Well, yeah, 17 added to 10. Boom! All right, so we're all set to go. So what we need to do is fix our med bay. Let's get these two people over there. It's not going to take very much to get them fixed. Nope. Alright, so, Felicity, let's bring you back here. 
bones. Let's put you back in here. Um, let's see what we got as far as jump. Oh, good. We have a store here. So let's make... Let's make another two jumps. We'll jump here and then here and then go up to the store so we've got some more scrap that we can use to trade with. Okay. So that's why I like these hover things with the lines because it allows you to kind of plan out advance and how you're going to make it to here. This is the exit. You're not exiting the game, you're just exiting this sector. So. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go here. Into another nebula. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby. Dun, dun, dun. Undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Attack the ship or attempt to remain concealed. Remain concealed. Yeah, we're going to attack no! it. No! They've got a drone that's being used. Alright, time to get nasty here. Let's go ahead and take out... Looks like they're going to have a nasty looking weapon here. Let's take out the weapons. Let's destroy this drone. Which actually that might shoot or we'll see what happens. This thing here might actually blow up our... Oh no, this is a laser drone. Yeah. Yeah, a, yeah so he's going to be shooting at us. Which our shields can take, but not if one of these shoot too. So we'll see what happens. Ouch. Hit our engines there. Okay, as you can see, we destroyed his weapons. And we hit the, the, the drone room. So this thing is no longer powered. So, now that we've done that... Now should we, hit oxygen. Oxygen would be good. Um, let's get his engines so they don't try to escape. Because they will try to escape. And we'll hit... Um, their shields. Now you can't see it. You will be when you can upgrade your ship, but there may be fires on here. And if there's fires, see, here they are. Aww. They're trying to escape. They're powering up its FTL trying to oh. escape. But we destroyed their engines, and you can see down here. Yeah, yeah. You can see, and you, you can hover It's over. not dead yet. Oh, it's you're right. It's not dead yet. Alright. Let's attack that then. Don't attack their shields again. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, maybe I need to... I'm trying to... Oh, here we go. I had to click it again. Hit the pirate bay. I might actually do it. Wait, their weapons are back up. Oh, you're right. They may not be full. Look... I don't think we have to worry about oh, that too no. much. Yeah, let's turn this off. I don't want to waste a missile. Because they're not going to make it. Bye-bye. Alright, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection. Glad we already know that. So this is what we got. We got one missile, 18 scrap. So that gives us more stuff that we can use to barter with. We have a drone. Oh, that's just floating around from outside. We can't do anything with it. But it says we have one. Yeah, we have one drone part, but we don't have... Oh, an actual thingy. Yeah, we need to have upgrades and stuff done with the ship in order to have drones. So this is where the drones would be if we had them, and ah. that, that system's not installed. There are ships that do have the drones, but we do not have that ship. All right, I don't see anything that needs to be repaired. Looks like it was all taken care of, so let's jump. We're going to go here. So we're going to go out of the nebula. Alright, alright. Another uh, rebel scum is coming after us. Apparently they didn't like us. Uh, their buddy or something said something about us. Oh! And they're, uh, they're getting ready to run. Probably not a good thing. Let's go ahead and hit their engines. They're scared. Matter of fact, let's hit it times two. Technically times three. That, yeah, that's true. Hurry up, hurry up, 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 up. Yay. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? You see that? They both missed. And of course, our weapons are now down. 
I don't even know if we'll be able to get that missile out in time. What? That thing is gonna be gone. Is this the back. end? Oh. oh my. Still can't do anything with that thing. Alright, we damaged it, but they're gonna be jumping, so. The scout jumps away. They are sure to have informed the fleet of your position. You must get to the next sector as soon as possible. So that means the rebels are probably gonna be coming at us much more quicker. Okay, now you'll see down here. The sensors are need repair. That's why it's all black. So we need to get let's get these two guys over here into the room. Yeah, when your sensors are down, it kind of sucks because when you have a fire, you can't see it. Right. Yeah, you can hear it. You hear the fire going, but you don't know where it's at. But you can look at the doors, and that usually tells you because something. Oh, okay. So now you can see. Um, Bones needs some healing, so let's take him to the midday. <laughs> He's gonna heal himself. You can, here's your hit points. So now they're going up, and you've got, you know, health all the way up to 100. Ooh, looks like Killer Gamer needs to go in there, too. Um, bones, put you back in the weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go over here. Killer Gamer! Need to get healed up there. Alright, now you notice over here it's red for evade. So, as long, if we don't have anyone piloting the ship, it's kind of hard to evade uh, weapons. True. And you can't jump anywhere if you don't have a pilot. So, and this is all, you know, green. Yes, we have someone in the engine room. Red, pilot. We don't have a pilot. So, put him back over here. Ta da! -dum. Now we're all ready to go. You'll notice we have a 15% chance of evading uh, incoming fire. And this you can improve if you improve this here, your subsystems. And also, if your uh, character uh, gets higher in skill level, which you'll see that when we as we go. All right, let's jump. Oh, we got two stores we can go to. Here's the rebels; they're coming. All right, let's go here, and then we'll move around and go here. <sighs> All right, there is only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We have crippled. Oh no, we were crippled by a band of pirates <laughs> and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. All right, so here's where we can buy stuff. We got like no money to buy anything at all. We can't fix our hole. We can, do we that. can buy a drone. We yeah we can. Well no, we have to have drone control in order to get drones. But you can still buy one so that you have one. Yeah, and system repair is a good one to get, but that thing is we so have, weak. We have so little money at the moment. Um, you might want to buy a hole. Might want, yeah, we might want to fix our hole. Let's see what kind of ship upgrades we can do first. Um, doors is something that you're going to want to upgrade soon. Because when intruders come on board your ship, if you just have normal doors, they just open them and walk right through. So you want blast doors. You definitely want to get improved blast doors. But uh, put it up, use 20, and get it up. And that will keep the intruders from just rampaging all over your ship. It at least delays things a little bit. So you'll see that. All right, so we got 25 left. Um, I don't really know if we can... Oxygen. Uh... Yeah. Shields, engine. Shields, we have to get... You remember, it's two per bubble. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have to spend 20 and then another 30, so 50 total to get another two. Oxygen's pretty important. It is. Um, this All this does, if you look at the stats here, is it will refill faster, is what it does. Well, so that's running really low on good. Oxygen, yeah, so really, I don't upgrade this right away. Um, it's one of the rare things that I upgrade, as a matter of fact. Um, I do I do tend to do um, pilot, because those are usually easy. It's 20 is easy. And uh, I usually upgrade the sensors, at least to the, the next one where you see enemy interior. 
I haven't seen much use for see enemy power use, but one time I just had a lot of uh, scrap, so I tried it out. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, let's accept. You can undo if you want, but we're not going to do that. Now let's go back to the store and see what we can do. All right, so we can do fix hull. How about we fix it? Oh, 16 will fix the hull all the way. Let's do that. All right. You can also buy uh, fuel, and ooh, we're running out of missiles, and these. We have a decent amount of fuel, we need missiles. Yeah, we're, we can do one more. All right. And we can buy more fuel. Yeah, 16, we're good. For now. Alright, let's go ahead and jump. Here they're coming. Alright, we've been here. So let, you don't want to waste your fuel because every time you jump it takes one fuel so let's go where we haven't gone maybe hopefully we can work our way back here I don't think so we'll see we'll see I love the artwork here it's really cool your scans reveal an ore refinery and several factories all standing still and empty no life signs detected now see this every time you play this game it's different so every, every the, the 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 maps are randomly generated. Um, these uh, encounters, these uh, event encounters, are always different. They're randomly generated, so it's like it's like a really good board game. Every time you play, the game is different. Yeah, and that's what makes this game so addictive. It because there is so much replay value with it. All right, so continue, and just because the music's cool. So let's jump again because we can't do anything here. We might be able to get over here, but we may not have any scrap to buy anything. Well, we can see what we're missing out. Yep. Look at this. This beacon has been built for nearby space. Yeah, well, that was a waste. Alright, well, you know what? I'm not going to bother going here, because that's going to waste fuel. And we only got three scraps, so why bother at this point? Um... So this is where this helps. You notice how we can't get to the exit down here? Yeah, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have known yeah. that. So, what if that? keep in mind, folks, that that option I checked is really helpful. Because you'd be coming all the way down here and realizing, oh, I can't get to the exit. <laughs> and then, meanwhile, here comes the rebels. And, yeah, it, it kind of sucks once they get to where you're at. So, you see, we can't even come down here and back up. So we're going to have to go over here. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Send an away party to investigate. Or it could be a trap. Let's move on. Hey, it's not fun unless you take a risk. So let's send an away party to investigate. Ooh, Ooh. find a hidden Federation outpost. They message you. Quick. We just got word from a sister outpost that they've been discovered by the rebels and are under attack. If you are still loyal to the Federation, go save them. So I think we're getting this and we'll get an added quest marker to our map. Now, you don't always get this. Sometimes it really is a trap, and then you wind up yeah. losing one of your crew members. I hate that. Yeah, which is kind of a bummer. You're like, I don't know if I really want to do it, but the other thing is is that Ow. you're never going to have a perfect game every time you play this. You know, sometimes it'll be more better than others, you know, so that's the whole fun of the game. Don't expect a perfect game every time that you play, because then it's boring. You know, who cares after that? All right, so here's the quest. Apparently, oh my goodness, we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit. Not really. Yeah, let's go here. All right, we got the bat thing here. Whatever that is, looks like a bat or something. You arrive in the sector to see a small outpost being bombarded by an automated drone. This must be the Federation base you were told about. All right, let's continue and pause, and we'll. Plan our strategy here. Uh, let's see. There's no shields. I don't think we need to use our... Um, waste our missiles. Let's go ahead and take out his weapons first. And we got it on auto fire. So this, as soon as this charges up and shoots, it'll, re it'll start recharging right away. Meanwhile, you can have this thing charge all the way up and then use it when you need to. Uh, unless they hit you. Like that. Well, at least we can use it. 
Take out his weapons. Alright, well, I took care of that. Let's power that down. Because now we can power up our lasers. Meanwhile, our FTL drive is charging. Alright, boom, his weapons are out. Might as well just keep it going. There he goes. Bye bye! You scrap the wreckage. We got two missiles, one drum part, and eight scrap. Alright, with the threat gone, you contact the Federation outpost. They respond, Our location has been compromised. Take everything you can and please drop our survivors Whoa. off at the next station. One soldier offers to stay and fight. Alright, so we get eight scrap, we get a new weapon, and we get a we new member. Pip a lot. Pip a look. Yeah, the names are randomly generated too. Oh yeah. With the exception of Felicity, I was impressed with that one. <laughs> All right, so here's our extra guy. Let's put him in the weapons control, and we'll put Bones in the medical. Actually, hold no. on. Let's take a look at Bones for a moment. Look at his um his stats. So his he's skilling up right now weapons and also his repair speed is up so once these are skilled up they actually repair things faster um, weapons actually charge quicker um, like the guy in the engine room that means that this uh, FTL drive actually charges quicker so when you have someone skilling in a per particular area keep them in that area because it will work to your advantage okay it looks like bones needs uh, some help in his own med bay here. So we got little green little recharge things. Alright, let's put him back over here. All's good. We got a new weapon. Um, it requires three. Does three damage, pierces all shields. So that's a pretty whopper of a weapon right there. Um, we can't do anything about the shields yet. I try to upgrade those as soon as possible too. I think we'll have enough time to go here and then all the way over, so let's do that. Alright, we got this uh, Mantis looking thing again. Oh, it says what kind of ship it is. Mantis Scout. And it doesn't like you, it's hostile. At first it appears you've arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind. A planet hails you. Ha ha! I am the Dread Pirate Taco! <laughs> Tuco, prepare to die. Taco! The Dread Pirate. Wait, That's we, funny. We know that the creators of this game were fans of the Princess Bride. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish. Alright. How about we try out our new weapon here? What, what can we use here? We got weapons here. Let's... Hopefully they won't hit our weapon systems. Let's, let's see what this new weapon can do. It's a big whopper weapon. Look at that thing. Jeez. Gambling, we're gambling. Hopefully they don't hit the weapons. Shields are down. Back up. Ooh, thank goodness. A phaser came by. Boom! We hit that. Alright, take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. So, we can accept their offer and get this, or we can keep the sh we can keep shooting at them. And we might get more. Yeah, sometimes you get more and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. Uh, I, I say let's go for it because this is really nothing. Yeah. We will not accept surrender. Boom. Well, your weapons are gone, buddy. All right. Let's take our lasers. Let's shoot his shields out now. Uh, yes, I know that. Ah, whatever. All right. Oh, there it goes. Alright, shield's gone. Let's uh, get their oxygen next. Bye bye. Alright, oh wow, that was a good good call. We got more scrapped and we and got a weapon. weapon. Yes. Burst laser mark one. I think we already have that. 
No. Oh, we have burst laser two. Okay, burst laser one. Let's take a look. This is where uh, organizing stuff actually comes in handy. Um, shoots two lasers that do one damage each, and this fires three. So these, actually, if we put this over here. Oops. So we got our missiles over here, like um, lesser, heavier, lesser, heavier. So if we can get one more uh, dot you know, space here for our weapons and some more power. We can have two things of lasers and they do some pretty good damage. Um, which, let's see if we can do some upgrades with the ship right now. It'll cost 35 to upgrade it, but we won't have enough for the power. But we do have one extra power sitting down here. Let's do it. And, yeah, we don't have enough power for this, but we'll accept it. Now we got four Oops. What, what's wrong here? What you don't have enough. Oh, you're right. Um, let's take it out of the med bay. Because no one needs the med bay right now. Now we have full power to both of these weapons. So let's go ahead and quickly get out of this sector. You do not want to fight the rebels. They're too strong. Whoa! And they are coming. Warning! We're coming to get you. Alright, now we're going to see how well these little lasers work up. Here's a rebel. So it sees us. Now they got a um, combat drone. So, let's let's get busy here. Let's, let's take out their weapons first. As long as you've got shields, that little phaser weapon does nothing. Alright, we got their weapons. Um, let's change things and get... Let's have one attack the drone and the other one attack the shields. You see the doors opening up? Those are people going to fix it. We'd be able to see it. Hit their shields a little bit. They're trying to escape. We don't want that to happen. Let's target their engines. We got a fire over here. You might want to get rid of it. Yeah, we got them. Get rid of your fire. We'll we'll get them. No, get rid of it now. The ship explodes, and this is what we got. Pretty good. Okay, this is another reason why the doors, upgraded doors, help. Is if you've got blast doors, it helps contain that fire. If they were just regular doors, they just start going through the walls and stuff like that. It's it's crazy. All right, so this is how we're going to take care of this fire. Instead of putting him in the fire to take it out, we're going to move him uh, over here to the oxygen room. And then we're going to open up these doors. No, don't worry, he won't be sucked out into space. <laughs> so, no oxygen currently. That's going to snuff out that fire. There it goes! Alright, so now we go over here to close all doors. All done. Now down here, oxygen is at 83%. Now if we open up all the doors, you'll see that it will help spread the oxygen through here a lot quicker. But sometimes the not oxygen goes into the oxygen. If you're, if this thing is damaged, yes. As long as this is not damaged, your oxygen thing, then it, you're, you're, you're currently pumping oxygen. When this goes... Oh yeah, it, it goes fast. Yeah, your oxygen depletes and life sucks. <laughs> Alright, doors are shut. We have 100% oxygen. We are all good to go. Um, hey, matter of fact, I think we can get another power thing. Yes, we can. So now we can power up our med bay now. See, this is just kind of like a board game. You know, you get all these new things you can upgrade along the way. It's kind of cool. Alright, everyone looks good. It's time to get to the exits. 
we are. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Oh, we find an abandoned mining station. See, these are random, too. Um, on a nearby moon, quick scan shows no life, but we get a drone schematic. So we get a drone, but we just don't have a system to use it. But at least we have a drone. See, that's why I'm glad I didn't buy the drone earlier. Usually you don't want to buy anything from a store right off the bat unless you have money for something that's really, really good. That is true. Like that. Like, I've come across people and really good weapons and stuff. Yeah, sometimes they'll get, get that. Usually, though, in the first sector, I'll do things like uh, update the shields if I can or weapons or the door. Because that's when enemies are weak and that's when you get Yeah, stronger. this is the best time to kind of get your defenses up first. Um, if you can get another weapon, like a burst laser, that usually helps out pretty well. Alright, so now we jump. We just go over here to the next sector. Just in time. Just in time. Look, they're, they're about ready to catch up to us. Alright, so now we have two different ways we can go. We can go the Uncharted Nebula, which is this up here, or Rock Control Nebula Sector. Rock, those are aliens called Rock People. So, I don't like Nebulas very much. That's a very, like, it generated a very hostile course. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, and so this is randomly generated, too. I have um, one time where almost all of them were civil civilian. Really? Yeah, like, all, almost all of them, and then there was, like, two purples, and that's it. It was it was nice. That's kind of crazy, um, and this is the only nebula one here. But I don't know which one. Which one do you think would be more interesting? The rock. I like the music that goes with the rock. Yeah, we should go there. All right, we're gonna go there. Give you a chance to hear the music. I love the music for the rock sector. The rock people have a particularly aggressive stance toward alien races trespassing in their space. You should tread carefully here. Now, the rock uh, creatures, they are actually very good at stomping out fires. <laughs> um, and they actually, they're fireproof, if I'm not mistaken. So. Yeah. But yeah, the mu music kicks in here and it gets, starts getting really good. Good stuff. So anyway, um, we're going to stop the video here because I think it's been long enough. Yeah. Um, and we will pick up in part two as we continue with sector two with the rock. People. Ah, the rock. The rock. Sounds like we're talking about Dwayne Johnson or something. You know, <laughs> yeah. Doing some wrestling. All right. So this is where um, we say goodbye. Where you do the save and quit. So, thank you everyone for watching, and be sure to stay, uh, keep your eyes out for part two, because this is an awesome game, and if you don't have it, get it! Or at least keep watching ours so you can see how awesome it is. See you next time.